What the fuck is this shit? I don't know if you guys can see that right uh, somewhere around there. I don't know where I'm pointing. Somewhere around there. Person's got like two, four, like eight, seven or eight, like two liter bottles just sitting up there on their uh, porch. I don't know what that's about. Maybe they're collecting rainwater or some shit. I don't know. I'm such a bitch. That's one thing I'm always going to have is chicken strips. There will always be chicken strips on my tires. I just don't have the balls for shit like that yet. Ooh. I have my GoPro. I don't know if you guys can see. I have my GoPro mounted in a really odd position. I don't know. I couldn't mount it. I know some people mount it on the chin region, but I wasn't going to be able to do that. Ah, shit. It looks like a storm. God, that woman's ass is huge. Shit. Oh, shit. I'm gonna get gas. I need some gas! Don't you feel like such a dumbass when you leave your fucking turn signal on forever? I feel so stupid. Like, the people behind me probably are just fucking following me like, damn, this fucking dumbass doesn't even know his turn signal's been on for the past three miles. I don't know how much riding I'm going to get in and how much this video is going to be able to be made, but I wanted to talk today about um, convincing your parents to get a motorcycle. I know it's uh, I know it's something that's pretty difficult, especially for younger people, and it was it was difficult for me. It would have been even more difficult for me if I was younger, but it was difficult for me, and I was, what, uh, 18, 19 when I got it? So I'm just going to explain to you guys how my situation was and how my parents viewed motorcycle riders and how I came to currently driving, driving one. Sheriff? My entire time growing up, my parents always just kept saying it, kept saying it, that uh, every time we saw a motorcycle, they were like, nope, never going to happen. And I'd be like, oh, that's cool. And they'd be like, nope, never happening. You're never going to drive a motorcycle as long as you're under my roof. Too dangerous. And I have an uncle and grandfather who are in, a, in the fire department, so they respond to all those types of accidents. They see all those bad motorcycle accidents. And stuff like that. So they were all against it. Every one of my family's pretty much been against it. And I know it's like that for a lot of households. They're, there's a risk involved and they're dangerous vehicles. So because of that, people's parents and stuff like that are really hesitant to let their children ride them. And it, it makes sense. I, can, I understand it. There's always time, some type of shit going on on this road. My family's always been like that, but I knew once I started getting into motorcycles, I needed to find a way to change their opinions about that because I was still living in my, with my parents at the time, and I still am besides me being in college. The only way I was going to get one was with them saying, yeah, you're allowed to keep it here. You're allowed to get it. It'll be with your own money, but you're allowed to get it. And I didn't think it was possible. I didn't think it was going to happen, actually, just because they've said it so many times when I was younger. Nope, you're not getting one. Not allowed to have one. As long as you're living with us, not happening. So my story was a little different. I was old enough and financially able to do it all myself. I didn't need my parents. I didn't need my parents to help me help me fund the bike. I didn't need any of that. I was able to buy the bike with my own money and insure it with my own money. So that helps in my case because my parents had a little less of a say in it than they would have if I were younger and asking them to buy me the bike. So that definitely helped for my case. <clears throat> I purchased the bike myself and I kind of didn't really leave them with a, with a decision. I kind of pissed them off so much, not necessarily pissed them off, but just bugged them so much about it that they knew it was going to happen and they knew there was nothing they could really do about it, especially with me being the age that I was and having the money that I did. They knew that there was nothing they could do about it. So for me, I can't really talk about my, my age group and my situation just because it's a little easier in my situation. I was able to do it all myself and for the most part, they didn't really have a say in the matter. I kind of forced it upon them, which I didn't like doing, but I had no other option. I really wanted to ride and I knew they weren't gonna let me. So that's my situation. But for most people, 
and probably a lot of people that are going to hopefully be watching this, they're going to be a younger group, they're going to be a younger audience, so they're not going to have, they're not going to be in that situation. So the thing with younger people is they're going to have to do more of the persuasion and more talking to their parents to get them to let them either A, buy it with their own money and just keep it at their house or buy with the, or have them buy it for them and allow them to ride it. So that's where it becomes tricky. You may think, oh, my parents are never going to budge, my parents are never going to budge, but you, you'll be amazed that if you, if you are persistent about it, what can happen? One thing, the number one thing I'd recommend doing is I'm pretty sure they offer an I'm almost positive that they offer it in every state. I know they offer it in my state and down in Alabama, but it's a motorcycle safety course. I'm, I'm almost 100% sure they offer it in every state. That safety course is going to be the biggest key, in my opinion at least. What is all the fucking ruckus up here about? Anyway, so that'll be the, the number one thing I think that'll help because if you if you go to your parents and say I want to ride a bike, want to ride a bike, they're going to be worried about you and they're going to say no. But if you take that course and you go to them and say to them, hey, I want to ride a motorcycle but I've already taken a motorcycle safety course and maybe at the end of that course gotten my license through it, then it'll change their minds a little bit. It might not make them say yes, but they'll at least be like, they'll at least understand that you've done it the safe way and you've taken a safety course with instructors that have been riding for years and years and you know a little bit about it. So that's rule number one, is I'd take that safety course, I, w I would take that even before you ask them or if not right after you ask them and let them know that you're taking that course because I think that'll be one of the main contributors to them changing their mind and allowing you to get a bike. That course is taught by very knowledgeable people. I went in there not knowing anything about a, a clutch and, and how to shift and all that type of stuff. I knew the concept but I didn't know how it actually worked so they taught me everything I needed to know not only just the riding aspect the safety behind it everything and how it all mechanically works so they cover they cover all the points in that course which is nice oh my god this is brutal oh great now we're gonna be stuck here looks like an accident or something typical Mustang driver oh we ran out of gas Aha, uh -huh, Mustang is classic classic the second thing I talk to your parents about is the benefits. There are there are drawbacks, but there's also a lot of benefits. Sorry, I'm I'm so distracted with this just watching. It's very entertaining. Fuck, I might have to I might just turn around and vlog on the way home just cuz I don't feel like getting soaked. The second or third, I don't know, I don't know what fucking number I'm on. But anyway, would be, tell them the benefits. The main thing, the number one thing, is just fuel efficiency. These uh, bikes in general, not even just this bike, are, are so good on fuel, they'll save you the money in no time. They'll pay for themselves. This bike, I think it gets somewhere, anywhere between, uh, what was it, I think 35, 45 miles to the gallon. And it's got a, it's got a 4.8 gallon tank with like a one gallon reserve on it or something. So when I fill it up full, like fill it up completely, I think at home it cost me six bucks maybe. And down here it cost me three or four. So you save so much money on gas compared to my Camaro that holds, I think it's got like 16 gallon tank and cost me almost 40 bucks to fill up. So that's one of the biggest benefits. You'll save a ton of money on gas. The next big thing that I talk to them about and tell them this to ease their mind would be riding gear. If you invest in the good in good riding gear and gear that'll protect you, a good helmet, a good jacket, gloves, long pants, uh, even riding boots if that's your style, they'll appreciate that a lot more because it'll put again, it'll put their mind at ease. They're worried about if you crashed how fucked up you'd get and, and the damages that will be done to you and your bike. So if you, if you talk to them about the riding gear that you're going to wear, it'll put their mind at ease a little bit. But that's also assuming you're going to ride, you're going to wear the gear. If you're going to, if you're telling them how you're going to get this riding gear and you're going to ride with it, make sure you fucking wear it. Don't just lie to them. And then once you get the bike, not do all this shit. Because it'll just get them more pissed off. Damn, I didn't know this was down here. One of the last things I would have to say to try to convince your parents, two things, would be give it time. It's not going to happen overnight. You're not going to tell them one day and then the next day they'll be like, okay, yeah, you can yeah, you can buy a bike. It's, it's not going to happen overnight. You can't expect it to. So give, give them time. Give them time to think about it. Give them time to weigh the benefits and the downsides because there's going to be... 
there's going to be uh, benefits and there's going to be downsides. It's it's inevitable. And the last thing I wanted to say was be persistent. If you go to ask, if, if this is something you're really passionate about and you really want to ride a bike and and it's been something you've been looking forward to, you've done a lot of research on, then be persistent. Don't just ask them and then and then give up because then, then it's useless and you're never going to get anywhere. You need to be persistent. When I first talked to my parents about it, they were like, yeah, uh, fuck no, Rob, not happening. But I, I, I didn't take no for an answer. I kept kept working with them, kept talking to them, and I didn't take no for an answer. So that's one of the main things I can talk to you guys about. Just because, like I said, it's not going to be overnight. If you keep keep pushing it, keep pushing it, keep thinking of more positive things to tell them about riding, it's only going to sway their opinion in the in the right direction. Now, don't don't be over the top about it. Don't just every fucking day, every minute of the day be talking about, let me get a bike, let me get a bike, let me get a bike. It's not going to work like that, and it's just going to piss them off and make them even less likely to allow you to get the bike. But be persistent in a in a good way, I should say, I guess. Don't overdo it. I don't even know where the fuck I'm going. I've never seen Talos like this. It's an arrow pointing inwards. And I'm not sure that I like it. Oh, well, one of them's miss one of them's out, so that's good. It's just that's just a few points where if you're trying to convince your your mom, dad, or whoever it is to let you get a bike, they're not gonna say yes right off the bat, and that's something you gotta face. Mine didn't. A lot of people, unless you're living on your own and you're you're older, they're not gonna say yes right away. So that's a few things you gotta talk to them about. You gotta assure them that you know how to ride and you know how to ride safely and you know what to do if you get in bad situations. And the course is gonna teach you all that. You need to talk to them about getting the right riding gear and how you're gonna be protective of yourself by wearing that gear. That's gonna ultimately save your life if you go down. can't rush it you can't expect it to happen overnight and you need to be persistent about it you got to tell them the benefits of it tell them about the fuel economy the convenience of it. you can park this thing anywhere you don't have to worry about parking spots most of the time because you can fit this thing in all types of different spots and sidewalks and shit it's, it, it really is convenient it's dangerous yes but it's it's more convenient than dangerous Actually, no, I don't know about that. Probably a little more dangerous, but I don't know where the fuck that leads, so I'm not going to go over there. Looking nasty. But that's just my advice. I had a little different situation. I was old enough to do that shit on my own. But for people who are younger, especially maybe just got your license and shit like that, you definitely can't just... Fuck! Oh, and then you got this jackass. Oh, thanks, man. So yeah, that's just my advice. There's there's gonna be tons of different ways to convince your parents, tons of different ways to, to try to convince them. It all depends on the parent, it all depends on their viewpoint. Some parents you might ask them and they'd be and your dad might have written or something, they they'll be like, Yeah, sure, I've been waiting for you to ask. But most parents see the dangers of motorcycles and they're they're not okay with it. So it's gonna take a little bit of persuasion. But you just gotta you just gotta keep trying. It's not gonna happen overnight. I can't stress that enough. My girlfriend FaceTime me again. She loves FaceTiming me while I'm riding. And another thing is, even if you can't pay for the full bike or you can't pay for the full insurance or something like that, volunteer to pay for something. Because trust me, it your parents will respect it a lot more. Plus, it'll you'll be a lot more cautious of shit if you got some if you got a foot in the game. Because if you got some of your own money invested into it you're going to be more careful you're going to overall be a lot more cautious when doing everything and that's what your parents want to see and that's a good thing for your health pay for something whether it's insurance whether it's part of the bike whether it's the down payment whether it's if you're financing it whether it's a couple months payment just anything as long as you can have some of your money invested in it it's going to make you better off because you'll be a lot more careful fuck Get me out of this rain! I don't want my GoPro to break! Fuck! Oh, it looks fucking nasty over there. I need to get back. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on.